Hi, I'm Cleon from ASRock. Today I'm going to unbox my new Z77 OC formula from ASRock. This is our first time to do unboxing and it's because this motherboard is so good that I can't wait to unbox it. It's designed by the world overclocking champion Nick Xie who is working at our company right now. This box on my right contains our OC formula. As you can see, the OC formula logo here and it will appear in future OC series motherboards. And down here there's this yellow sports car and it symbolizes OC Formula's slogan, Born to be Fast. On the back you can see a large 7 gigahertz and memory frequency to 3000 megahertz which means that this motherboard has passed lots of very strict tests and it can be overclocked to extremely high frequencies. And you also see three large circles, cooling, connector, and power. And that means that this motherboard has three kits bundled with this motherboard. Power, connector, and cooling. In the inner fold of this box, you can see detailed information about 20 new features that comes with OC formula. And by this window right here, you can see twin power cooling, which is new by ASRock. It is a combination of air cooling and water cooling. And now let's take out the motherboard and explain more about its features. Wow. Okay. This is a well-protected motherboard. It has extra thick foam wrappings covered all around it. And inside you can see there are plastic ties that secure it onto the foam. Let's look at the power kit first. This motherboard supports DigiPower. On OC Formula there is a chill 8328 chip so it supports digital PWM. And with DigiPower it means that the motherboard has smoother voltage power and it also allows overclockers a larger variety of options when they're overclocking. And on the motherboard over here you can see the 12 plus 4 power face design. You can see all of the power face design here. This gives overclockers lower temperature when they are overclocking. And in here you can see the little cubic squares. These aren't your traditional iron powder chokes. These are called premium alloy chokes and they are made of compound metal. They can reduce up to 70% of core loss when you're overclocking. And back here there is also dual stack MOSFETs. And unlike traditional MOSFETs, remember the larger the diarrhea, the better efficiency. So with our dual stack MOSFETs, we have two dies stacked in one tiny little MOSFET. So it is way better than the traditional ones. And the last of the power kit is MFC, which means multiple filter caps, which includes MLCC, dip caps and pos caps at the same time. And what they do is that they filter noises from low, mid to high frequencies. Now, most of the other motherboards, they only use two ty kinds of caps, such as maybe MLCC caps and dip caps. So the noise filtering won't be as good as OC formula. We already saw twin power cooling earlier. And so here you can see there's this automatic fan that dissipates heat over here. And there are also two holes and inside these holes are water tunnels. And these water tunnels have water inside that can take away the heat too. And over here if we're under the light you can see that this motherboard uses 
eight layers of PCB. While most other Z77 motherboards only use six layers or four layers of PCB, this is the first and only one to use eight layers. And not only eight layers of PCB, it also has four layers of two ounce copper. So when you're overclocking, the motherboard will remain super cool. And then over here you can see that this motherboard also comes with Gelid's solution, GC Extreme Thermal Compound. Now, this is the sickest thermal compound around here right now. I mean that every overclocker knows what I mean. Even I want one. The last is the connector kit. We all know that a stable power supply is crucial for overclocking a motherboard. So that's why ASRock's D77 OC formula uses high density power connectors. You can see the square shaped pins. They reduce 23% of power loss and lower the pin's temperature by 22 degrees. And over here is the 15 mu gold fingers. We've added more gold into the memory slots and CPU slot. Now, traditional uh, motherboards, they only use about two to five mu of gold on their motherboards. While ASRock's OC formula uses 15 mu gold. This lots of gold makes overclocking more stable. After looking at the toolkits, now let's take a quick look at the specs of Z77 OC formula. Down here is Intel's Z77 chipset and it supports i7, i5 and i3 CPUs over here. And on the right left here is to PCIe 3.0 slots and they support SLI and down here is a PCIe 2.0 by 4 slot and there are also two by one slots here and on the top left here is four DDR3 memory modules that go up to 3000 megahertz and at the bottom here are six SATA3 connectors. Let's look at the rear I.O. On the rear I.O. we can see there are six USB 3.0 ports and there's also one USB 3 header on the motherboard so that's total a total of eight USB ports. And there's also a Broadcam Gigabit LAN for internet. Now you can see that this motherboard is larger than average ATX forms. This is a CEB motherboard. So when you're choosing a case, maybe you'll have to find a larger one. Under the motherboard, there are two accessory box inside. On the left, there's the quick installation guides, manuals, and support CD inside. And on the left side, there is a mysterious black velvet bag with a golden logo printed on top of it. Next, we're going to see what's, out, what's inside this bag. Okay, here are all of the accessories on the table here. Now, these are SATA cables, IO panels, and SATA power cables. And uh, right here is the gelid thermal compound that we talk, we've talked about earlier before and the SLI bridge card and this is ASRock's USB 3.0 front panel for most of our um, higher end motherboards and back over here is the rear IO panel which is painted in black and yellow so it matches your motherboards color and guess what these are these are new from ASRock. These are uh, OC stands. And 
with these, you can build your OC formula motherboard without a case, like this. It's very convenient and uh, the airflow is good for overclocking and it's even more portable. You can take it anywhere you go. And there's also this tiny little st sticker so that if you build your OC formula into a case then you can still stick a sticker onto the case and brag it to your friends that you have OC formula inside. Okay. At last, let's check out the overclocking features. First is overclocking champion Nick Shea's OC profile, which provides 13 safe settings for you to learn how Nick overclocks his motherboard, including stages from 0 to 11. That's from 3.9 gigahertz to 5 gigahertz. And there's also Extreme LN2 OC and no KOC. Extreme LN2 OC is only basic LN2 overclocking settings. Overclockers are required to tune the rest and use LN2 to finish the overclocking, or else you won't be able to enter into the operating system. There are also a couple of new switches and buttons on OC formula. For example, these two buttons over here. They are called Rapid OC. With these, you can um, adjust the CPU V-Core voltage and B-Clock frequency and other stuff really fast. And you can also appoint hotkeys to these buttons. And up here, this square switch over here, it is called PCIe on-off switch, and there are three. So you can control your PCIe slots. You can enable or disable them because for overclockers, sometimes when they're overclocking the um, graphics cards, they crash. So instead of manually pulling out the video cards and reinstalling them back into it, the slots again, you can just use the PCIe on off switches to do that. It will save you lots of time. And down here is VPro. Um, with multi testers, you can use the V-Probe to monitor your uh, CPU or your memory and other stuff. Temperature controlling is very important when you're overclocking. So there are 15 thermal sensors scattered on the motherboard for you to monitor the temperature of each spot. And there are more subtle voltage tuning options. Overclockers may fine tune the voltage by 5 millivolts. That means there are over 300 options between 0.6 volts and 2.1 volts. And inside the formula drive, we can also adjust the fan speed RPM by temperature. Once the system detects the actual RPM, it will use graphs to adjust the relation between temperature and the fan speed. Also, Z77, Z77 OC formula comes with a uh, timing configurator software and it is used for memory timing. These are all features for overclockers and they are very easy to use. So this is our Z77 OC formula unboxing. And if you have any questions or comments about our unboxing or maybe you would like to see us unbox other products from Masrock then you can leave a comment down below to let us know and once again this motherboard is designed by the world overclocking champion Nick Shea if you like this motherboard as much as I do then probably you should look it up at uh, stores it will probably be in stores in within two weeks or so see you next time